friends welcome to my hospital at ranaghat india this is a white non intumescent cataract let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision it's a 2.8 mm incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus this is a side port about 3 clock hours away from the main incision on the left side and now the plan is to stain the anterior capsule around this air bubble trypan blue 0.06% dye is injected underneath this air bubble when you inject it underneath an air bubble the staining is immediate and you need not wait you can wash it out just after injecting and you'll see that there is enough staining of the anterior capsule and now the dye is washed out visco elastic substance 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is filled up with this visco elastic substance 26 case band needle is taken the anterior capsule is incised and a big capsular flap is raised a little of forceps is used to hold this capsular tag and this capsular tag is guided anti clockwise it goes all around and an opening is made in the anterior capsule for management of the nucleus <coughs> hydro dissection is done at multiple points the nucleus is tapped very gently and the nucleus is rotated visco elastic substance is injected again and now is the time to introduce the tip of the fico handpiece this is oddly catrix 3 fico machine and the tip is called easy tip there are two air bubbles it has been removed now see the submarine chop submarine chop is a kind of direct chop push the nucleus little down go into the substance of the nucleus travel through the nucleus as a submarine moves under water and then chop it like this and now the nucleus is rotated held with vacuum at this point and it is chopped like this it is rotated again about 180 degree and chopped and now this is the endonucleus this is the small piece of nucleus separated from the other piece emulsified and removed ultrasonic energy used in this case is 70% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury the anterior chamber is very stable there is no surge and emulsification is being done at the iris plane or you can say anterior capsular plane these are the last two bits 
of the nucleus. At this time, we must be very cautious. We can even come down to FACO on mode where the vacuum is very less. We can remove the chopper so that leakage from the sideboard stops. All precautions should be taken so that the posterior capsule is not caught by the tip of the FACO handpiece. That's it. The nucleus has been managed. And now, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected again. A 23 gauze Simco cannula is taken. You can see there is a piece of epinucleus just in front of the main incision. We have to remove that first. It was escorted out. And now, cortical matter is being removed. Since there is only one side put, we have to use it. We have to remove it either by this Simco cannula or by coaxial irrigation aspiration. So after thorough cleaning of cortical matter, this is uh, intraocular lens, foldable intraocular lens, hydrophilic acrylic. It is being implanted in the capsular bag. That's it. The lens has been oriented nicely. And now the side ports are hydrated. Only one side port is there that is hydrated. And then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anti-chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be better and do better.